Chapter 5, Lesson 12, UI Page Control. A UI page control is a type of controller that allows us to swipe between pages and change the UI with each new page change. It's useful for displaying multiple pieces of information that all correlate to each other. You can view UI page control in the weather app that's included on every iPhone. You may have also seen this in the beginning tutorial type thing in some social networks that they can swipe through and show you how to use the app. In summary, page control is good to show multiple things to be able to navigate through very quickly in one view. Right now you're only watching part of this series. The full course includes many more lessons including how to monetize and submit apps to the App Store. Click the link in the description now to check out the full unabridged course and to create a fantastic source of passive income. Now let's get back to the lesson. In Xcode, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new single view application. Once we've gone ahead and created the project, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to our viewcontroller.h file. After our at interface, I'm going to go ahead and open up some curly brackets. We're going to go ahead and do that because I need to declare a page control and a label. So let's do that now. IB outlet, UI, label, label, and of course end up with a semicolon. Now I just named my label, label. We're going to go ahead and make a page control now. So IB outlet, UI page control, and I'm just going to name mine page control. And of course, end that with a semicolon. I use IB outlet on both of these because I'm going to reference both of them inside of my interface builder or storyboard file. Once we've gone ahead and done that, we can go ahead and go to our main.storyboard. I'm going to select the view controller go to our file inspector, and disable size classes. Once we've gone ahead and done that, we can drag in a label and a page control, both of the things that we've created in our .h file. So I'm going to go ahead and create that label, make it a little bit bigger, center it, and change the font size to a larger font size. I'm then going to go ahead and change the label text to nothing, because we're going to go ahead and change that in code once we've got our page controller in. So we can go ahead and drag in a page controller. Now, as you'll notice, this is white right here. So we're going to go ahead and select our page control, go to tint color, and change it to black. So now the pages that we're not on will be black, and the pages we are on will be white. So let's go ahead and change that white to a gray color. So now the page we're on will be white, and the other pages we're not on will be black. So now we've changed colors for our page control. The page we're on will be gray, and the pages we're not on will be black. We're just going to do this so that we can see it. So we created those things with IB Atlas. We need to go ahead and connect them. So we're going to connect our label to the label, and we want to connect our page control to the page control we've dragged in. So let's go into our viewcontroller.m file and create some code to handle the page controller. So we're going to do one thing, and that's create an IB action. So dash space, open parenthesis, IB action, change page is what I'm going to call it, because this IB action will be called after we go ahead and change our page on the page controller. Let's go ahead and program this IB action so that whenever we change a page, the label changes to whatever page number it is. So if we go label.text space equals space, open square bracket ns string string with format and I'm gonna do at quotes percent LD end quote comma open square bracket I'm gonna type in here page control which is the name of my page controller and my current page and end that with another square bracket and a semicolon so what we're doing here whenever we change a page we're setting the text of the label to whatever the current page number is. We need one more step before we go ahead and run it. We need to connect our IB action to our page control. So I'm going to connect change page to our page control. And I'm going to do value changed rather than touch inside. Soon as when we go ahead and click to a new page that it changes the number. But what if we wanted more than three pages? Well, if we go into our storyboard, we select our page control, we can go ahead and expand its width and go ahead and center it well, we can go to the Attribute Inspector and change the number of pages. We can change that to as many as we want. I'm up to 9 right now, so our number will count up to 8. And we can change the current page, whether that's 0, 
one, or all the way up to eight. So our page control starts at eight. So our page control starts at zero and goes to eight, which means it has a range of nine total pages. If we wanted to go ahead and represent that there are nine pages, we would need to add one to our page controls current page because it starts at zero. So let's go ahead and have a range from zero to one just by adding one to the end of our current page. So now we can go ahead and run our app. So you can see I can easily scroll through our page control by tapping at the last page or the first page. You can also tap which one we want to go to and use page control. Now we can't swipe, that is page view controller. However, we can still perform many of the functions that a page controller has. We're using this to switch a number around, but you could use this to change an image, whether you're showing an intro screen or things like that. In Interface Builder, we notice we can change the number of pages. We can decide to hide it if we only have one page available. And we can also set the tint color of the pages that aren't selected. And we can set the current page color as we want. We can also set the number of pages we want programmatically. So we can do that by typing the name of our page controller. Mine is just page control dot number of pages space equals space. And you can put any number you want. I'll just do five and end that with a semicolon. So you'll notice when we go ahead and we run that instead of nine like we had before, we've set in our view did load method that we only want five pages. And you can see that we can easily scroll through these five pages. And you'll notice that each page gives us a different number, one through five. As always, Apple does provide documentation for UI page control. You can find this in the iOS developer library at developer.apple.com. If you go here, you can see everything I've just talked about in greater detail and from Apple's own words. Remember this course releases new lessons every Wednesday and Thursday of every week. Subscribe now to not miss them.